Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part four for this news report today. It's Wednesday, November 28th, 2012. I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. Also on YouTube, my channels are ddarko2012 and ddarko2013. All these stories I'm covering will be in YouTube's video description if you're new to GGN. Uh, we just talked about um, uh, feminism. It's kind of a false feminism, I like to call it. Um, it's one of the many different reasons used for uh, controlling society and, and steering it in a certain direction that makes it less of a threat to the powers that be or the super elites. So one of them is, uh, of course, feminizing the male and then, of course, mas uh, emasculating uh, the woman and breaking up the families, uh, encouraging sexual promiscuity and... Uh, and of course, the backlash is uh, STDs, so then they had to come with contraceptives. They want to promote that uh, 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 behavior, but uh, they want to make sure that you're not procreating. So, But all you have to do is turn on your television. I mean, it's, in, if it's, it's even in Westerns uh, back from the 50s. It's been going on for a long time uh, where, the, where they basically, like especially now, I've mentioned this before, where you turn on the television and half of the guys, unless they're... A uh, gun-toting uh, SWAT team bashing down doors, a uh, cop show. Um, they're going to be what? They're going to be feminized men, real skinny, talk uh, real feminine, and and stuff like that. And the women are always the domineering ones, right? They're smart, and I notice a lot of the guys now in these uh, movies and shows. They're really dumb. Um, can't really do much. Uh, women are suing. Remember, we talked about women suing uh, to fight in combat. And uh, then we have nine-year-old girl uh, shredding defenses to the tune of 25 touchdowns. So this is, you know, again, another one, another uh, propaganda piece put out by Yahoo. So this is the new normal. And um, what's the other show that they have? Girls. It's another type of programming show. It says here a lot of people would accept a nine-year-old girl playing tackle football, but it seems the father uh, loves it. Her dad and coach said... Uh, she has no hesitation about coming back for another season, and the dad admits he's overwhelmed with pride. Then this uh, article from November 20th, Swedish woman charged with necrophilia after dozens of skeletal parts uncovered in her home. A human skull is seen in the bed, an apartment of a 37-year-old woman in Gothenburg, southern Sweden. The woman has been accused of necrophilia after investigators found some 100 skeletons in her apartment. Uh, when you go down here, it goes on and it says that the woman has denied the charges, claiming she collected the bones out of historical interest. Uh, pretty interesting. There were a police uh, also found a CD titled My Necrophilia, as well as photographs in which a woman is seen kissing and hugging the skulls. This is in Sweden. And a woman, uh, we have this Sweden empire of governance feminism. For many of us, the extremist brand of gender feminism that has pre, uh, permeated Swedish culture and politics came acutely into focus last year. The YouTube video of a group of female students murdering a man reading a newspaper and their ecstatic post-murder dance celebrations revealing that exposure to and advocacy of male gender side is an accepted part of Swedish education system indoctrination of their youth. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, pretty interesting. They call it the Gender War by a journalist, uh, which is highly recommended viewing for anyone who has not seen it and interested in the truth about Swedish feminism. So it goes on and says the most disturbing aspect uh, is the confirmation that the central tenets of radical feminism have been accepted in Sweden as a core political uh, orthodoxy. All aspects of legislation and government services must adhere to its gender-correct understanding of male dominance and oppression. I'm going to keep moving fast here, guys, so stick with me. Sweden, the definition of a feminist hellhole. So it goes on and it says the Swedish model is pushed as some kind of feminist utopia ideal, but on the ground the reality is very different. The short answer is the Swedish model is a big pile of BS. So go on here and check out some of these things here says these urban myths about Swedish women are very false. says personality and attitude is very important and sorely lacking. Uh, must, most foreign guys deeply regret having any involvement with Swedish women. Some conclusions that have been drawn are Swedish women are flaky and unreliable, very cold and uncaring and incapable of making any commitment to anyone. They think they're always right about everything and treat uh, men worse than garbage. They're incapable of accepting any criticism. They're deeply narcissistic and chronically unhappy with very high suicide rates. Also says that they're completely unaware of how deficient they are. Um, they think that they are the greatest on earth. 
It says Swedish women are taught to hate men and are operationally very racist. And some more background news from August 21st. I've covered this many times. After birth abortion, uh, eugenicists say babies are parasitic burdens on society. So this is according to um, Alberto uh, Bla Francesco Minerva. After birth abortion is proposed as a form of contraceptive contraceptive, sorry, that would allow babies to be killed after they were born. It was a paper published in the Journal of Medical Ethics. It says that when circumstances occur af uh, after birth such that they would have justified abortion, what we call after birth abortion would be permissible. Cover this as well from September of this year. Human being motion excuse uh, to open abortion debate. So they want to change the criminal code definition of a human being. So it was suggesting it naturally leads to a debate on criminalizing uh, abortion. So this is in Canada. They're also funding sex change operations like in Brazil. Um, boy found in trash. So this is the type of uh, society that it creates. Uh, this is how they feel about uh, the youth and, and life and stuff in general. So uh, basically a Cleveland woman has been arrested in the death of her three-year-old son after police found what they believe is a body of a young boy at a waste treatment plant. So, uh, you know, and the other thing, too, is could she afford it, you know? Doctors prescribe emergency contraceptive for all girls under 17. The American Academy of Pediatrics has a surprising bit of advice in its new policy statement. Doctors should pre prescribe underage teens emergency contraceptive pills like Plan B. Uh, this is even though teen pregnancies in the U.S. well, uh, actually dropped 44 percent between 91 and 2010 because they're becoming less fertile and uh, the, the, the pills are so available for them now uh, they even give them out at schools and stuff like that and um, and of course with uh, condoms and that uh, telling them that basically uh, they're going to get AIDS if they don't uh, wear a condom fertility rate from 1950 was up uh, says here 110 per 1000 15 to 44 is the age group so 1950 was up here at 110 and it basically plummeted um, after 1970, so from 1970 to 1980, while the drugs and all the crazy crap was going on, uh, the fertility rate dropped and it leveled out uh, from 110 all the way down to about 65 and has hold steady since 2000. Sex surrogates are growing in popularity. So in South Florida, they're seeing an increasing number of patients using sexual surrogates to overcome intimacy and performance problems. This, of course, is all a result of um, eugenics. A sex surrogate is a licensed counselor who works with single people suffering from sexual problems to overcome their issues, offer also serving as a surrogate to allow them to practice overcoming the sexual issues they're trying to overcome. It's a taboo topic, but it shouldn't be. So it goes on and it says that they're actually uh, putting some propaganda out called the Sessions, which opens this month in South Florida uh, theaters. It says the Sessions uh, range from learning to flirt, hold hands, and touching to full-blown sexual intercourse. Next up, we have naked protesters occupy John Boehner's house office. So, you know, they want to go out and have uh, this uh, risky behavior and stuff like that and party, party, party. And uh, then if they get AIDS, then they want uh, the government to pay for it. So this is the brave new world that uh, we're talking about here. Most young people with HIV are unaware. So says the most important group to find the trend is the ages group between 13 and 24. This is the future of our, this is our future generation, says the CDC, the head of the Eugenics uh, Statistics uh, Bureau. So, yeah, of course it is. That's why they're doing it. So, the judge orders sex change operation for prisoner. This, you've already seen this before. Taxpayer-funded sex change operation for transgender prisoner. So, so they don't get uh, uh, basically... Bullied and harassed. I had NHS, and this is basically the healthcare system in the UK, sex swap to be a woman, and now I'm 75. I want them to put my tackle back, saying I now realize inside I'm a red-blooded man and always have been. I want a physical relationship with a woman, but I've got no equipment. It all went in the operation. It's one heck of a mistake to make. So the sex swap dad told yesterday how he uh, booed by becoming a woman 23 years ago and begged NHS to give him his junk back. He insisted, I feel trapped. I did my best to embrace it and be a woman. Also, I bought bikinis and nice dresses, spent time on hair and makeup, and always had a lovely manicured nails. So, 
but the operation essentially left me as a lesbian, and despite joining ladies' yoga class and fashion show, bikini fashion shows, my life was a nightmare. A Belgian man discovers wife used to be a male after 19 years of marriage. He wants his marriage to be annulled after discovering that an Indonesian wife of almost 20 years had originally been a man and undergone sex change. He said it wasn't an easy thing to do to get her from uh, into Belgium. He says, I feel like I've been insulted. I thought she was an attractive woman, all women. Uh, she had no male traits. The guy is going to have to go undergo psychiatric treatment following the discovery. And more of a common trend now, man boobs or male breast surgery surges. Number of British men seeking the procedure doubles in five years. Again, this is a result of BPA and the beer cans and uh, uh, lace with, with everything. It's all on your cars. Um, a lot of the plastics and stuff like that uh, has BPA, uh, growth hormones. It says more men are seeking breast reduction surgery to treat this uh, thing, which causes dreaded man boobs. So yeah, they'll even concede that it's caused by hormones, uh, altering medic medications, uh, hormone imbalances, and stuff like that. It's in the it's in the food too. Uh, Malaysian Muslims to protest Elton John gig over gay marriage. It says the Malaysian anti-gay Islamic party plans to protest Sir Elton John's gig in the country. Conservative Muslims believe the show due to uh, take place in Kuala Lumpur will drag the country's young into a vice. I'm not saying there's anything evil or demonic about it. I'm just saying that these people, they care about the future generation. So this is that's why they're looking out for them. So and, uh, you know, when you get knighted, I think it's for a reason, because you're promoting something for these uh, for these world global elites and bloodlines, uh, kind of like uh, the Beatles. I'm sorry if you're a Beatles fan, but I think uh, part of that uh, was just uh, a psyop in that. You know, the U.K. was a lot like the United States in the, you know, pre-50s and pre-60s, and then that's when we went into the 70s, all the crazy periods and stuff like that. And the Beatles and Elvis and stuff like that, that helped uh, that helped do it. I mean, you remember the, the movie with the quote, uh, and the Johnny Cash movie Walk the Line by uh, Jerry Lee Lewis saying, you know, we're all going to go to hell for the songs that we're singing. I don't think he's going to go to hell. But they knew what they were doing, you know, uh, just like uh, Sir Elton John. So that's why they get knighted. S scrap law and insulting words and behavior that censors free speech, the MPs urge. So it says that they, uh, a law which has been used to arrest Christian preacher, critic of Scientology, and a student who made a joke has a disproportionate impact on freedom of expression. Section 5 of the 1986 Act says someone is guilty just for uh, or for just using threatening, abusive, or insulting words or behavior within the sight or earshot of a person likely to be caused harassment, alarm, or distress. The Associated Press bans ethnic cleansing and homophobia from style book. Anti-gay is a more accurate, see, it's kind of like 1984, right? You're anti-gay. Well, I don't hate gays. I just think that they're being used. Uh, for engineering society for political control, for domination, just like the monetary system. You're just being used. So, judge sentenced teen convicted of manslaughter to church. He must attend church every Sunday for the next 10 years. So, a lot of people griped about this, but hey, uh, you know, you don't want to go to prison. It's not really about rehabilitation. It, it'll make you even to a worse person. And uh, so, this might actually be a decent thing. I'm not all about organized spirituality, but, you know, you know, I'm all about justice. So, I mean, if, some, if the person, whoever he killed, the family wanted to have him killed or hung, then so be it. Um, they want to send him to church, then so be it. Jabs for babies, uh, pig virus contaminated vaccine for stomach virus to be administered to small infants in the UK. It says it's called Rotorix, and it's uh, going to start in September of 2013, even though the vaccine has previously been found to harbor viral fragments of the swine flu virus. Missing from the conversation is any talk about the serious side effects. Next up, tuberculosis vaccine sickens 115 Romanian children. 50 have been hospitalized. And the maker of the vaccine says the lymph node swelling is completely normal. And just, so many people are trying to have their own organic chicken. 500,000 households keep their own flocks. They said they have little understanding how to control the disease in the birds. They don't want us to have healthy food. The family farm is being systematically wiped out of existence in America. And the largest organic peanut butter plant has been ordered closed due to cracking down on salmonella. And reducing meat consumption, this propaganda piece study finds most pork is contaminated, right? Scare everybody. Fourth person dies in California mushroom poison. But but don't worry about DuPont who's sending in SWAT teams to enforce seed patents for GMO crops. Because they're doing what farmers have been doing for a long time. Farmers illegally saving the seeds and replanting them, which leads to uh, farmer suicides every 30 minutes. 
And watch out Mexico, Monsanto's coming with their GMAs. Thank you.